Hey guys, Mr. Wahido Hake, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, use uh, OBD11 to check for boost leak on your turbo. Uh, yeah. So, first thing you want to do is connect to your car with the OBD port. So, there you go, connected now. So, you want to go into the car. That's, there's no fault there really, it's just uh, red. It's a bit weird that. Okay, so you want to go into engine control module. Put the brightness up a bit so you can have a look. Okay, you want to go into live data. Okay, now you got all the channels. So you're gonna search it all. Okay, so you got a couple of channels. So you got everything there. <laughs> Alright, guys, I figured out how to do it. Alright, so what you need is you want to go to your back into the engine bit again, which is under control units, engine, live data, and then you want to type in 115. That's the channel. So, as you can see, these are the channels. So, that was the result I was getting before, which is quite bad because the computer is asking for 340 bars of pressure. It's getting 990 which is triple I've noticed this trend all along so if someone can explain that to me please do so yeah I'm not sure I don't know it might be a problem or it might be remapped I have no idea myself but yeah after you do that basically the way you want to do that is uh, you want to go to charts And because uh, I've already, because I'm not plugged in at the moment, uh, there'll be a plus sign here. Yeah, there should be a plus sign there in the corner. You press the plus sign, and then uh, it'll ask you for which thing you wanna add in. So the way you do that is, uh, you'll go down in numbers. So it'll say channel one fifty one thirty one blah blah blah. So you're looking for, it'll say like one ten, and then after that you're looking for the charge pressure. And then you want the one that's closest to about 115. It counts down, so you'll see it. And then you click it, and then you put on the actual pressure and the specified pressure. So the actual pressure is what it's currently getting, and specified is what it's asking for. So I'll show you now. This is my recorded test. So as you can see here, the blue color is what it wants, and the green is what it's getting. So as you can see, it's asking for less than 300 some shit like that yeah it's getting 980 so yeah and this when I start driving so here actual pressure control actual is 990 but it's asking for a bit more so there is there must be a tiny bit of a boost leak as you can see very little though so it's not a big issue charge pressure specified sometimes it's higher sometimes it's lower just depends I guess so it's not too bad as long as these look all right like there should be no massive drops there's a massive drop there but that's uh, asking for specified if it was the other way around then you'd be looking at a problem so yeah that's not too bad the only thing I am worried about is uh, this runs at a high boost for some reason very high boost uh, it's running about 20 psi at some certain points I'll show you that so when I go into sports mode Wait, there you go. When I go into sports mode, which is there, everything. Uh, so the ones we want to pay attention is to the green one. Dark green and the blue. The rest were just me mostly making, messing about. Okay guys, so... We'll go to high engine RPM. It's, well, not even high. Where's that? So there you go. 1,220. It's higher than that as well. There you go. So 1,410 M-bar. That's the actual, and it's asking for 1480, so we've got a bit of a leak there. But it's not a big problem, it's very tiny. And uh, it is very high pressure, that is. That's 20 PSI there, which is quite quite insane for a turbo. Well, turbo of an, a normal turbo, standard turbo, basically. So, how he's doing that, I'm not sure. If you know anything about turbos, then please let me know why this is and there's your the data as well that I'll put it in so you can see charge pressure control is over 100% which is quite bad 
engine load okay this is at what's engine speed at that's at 3000 rpm so that's not even that high there's your intake and temperature coolant temperature which is okay so they are all fine so yeah that's the issue there so it doesn't seem to be a problem but I can feel like the car is always trying to lunge forward itself especially in uh, sports mode if I'm just stable it, when I'm creeping as well it just wants to lunge that could be because of the high turbo pressure but yeah anyways guys thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel see you guys next time goodbye